Dave Soriano, Chem Department, University of Pittsburgh, Bradford in Pennsylvania. Just a short demo, short video on uh, a modified Gretzel solar cell. No conductive glass is needed. You'll need an empty CD case, graphite rod or graphite lead pencil, sponge, antiseptic containing povidone, food coloring dye, copper wire, liquid paper. Advantages of this cell. No conductive glass is needed. The typing correction fluid is the titanium 4 oxide semiconductor source. No need for bonding the titanium dioxide to the glass by heating, cutting down on the expense of the glass and the heating time. Use of a common antiseptic which supplies the iodine. You will not need crushed raspberries or blackberries as sensitizer. A food coloring dye serves as a sensitizer. The unit can be assembled in 30 minutes time. And currently, we are getting a 0 0.10 to 0 0.15 potential and uh, one and a half milliamps of current with a tungsten light bulb, 100 watt, held about a foot away from the solar cell. Dave Soriano. I'm a chem professor with the University of Pittsburgh's Bradford campus in Western Pennsylvania, USA. And uh, this will just show you, give you a little overview of the modified great cell cell, photovoltaic cell. When you uh, carry out the uh, procedure, you'll need some copper sulfate. I have it in this uh, glass dish. That's a copper sulfate bath. You're going to need a sponge, and uh, I went into a dollar store, picked up a bag of uh, five for a dollar, cut off the top part, which had a bit of a scouring uh, surface, and that's actually what I used in the cell. I'll show it to you in a minute. So I cut that down to, uh, oh, maybe about... Uh, quarter of an inch thickness. You're going to need a uh, fluorescent dye or food coloring sensitizer. Now, you can use food coloring, particularly number 122, yellow dye will work. I used, I tested out basic yellow fluorescent dye available from uh, Sergi in North Carolina, Youngsville, North Carolina. I just happened to have it here in the stock room, and I used it as a spray, and it worked fine. If you don't have that, you can experiment with others uh, along the lines of uh, food coloring solution. You're going to need liquid paper, a typing correct, uh, correcting agent, liquid paper. I'm using a solution sold commercially by PaperMate. Got to have that, that's your source of semiconductor titanium peroxide. Um, you're going to need, also in the uh, grocery store, drugstore, you're going to need to get an iodine uh, antiseptic swab stick is what I'm using with povidone. So very commonly a 10% solution can be found in a drugstore. What I'm using is put out by uh, Dynarex. And I take the swab, soak in the uh, agent, the antiseptic, which will form the pariodide. And I put the swab stick in a beaker with about 10 milliliters of water to make my uh, solution. Uh, that's the equivalent of uh, potassium iodine. That goes to the bottom uh, of the electrode. Could need some copper wire. and an empty CD case. Well, here's the unit, and in the laboratory setting, with a 100-watt tungsten bulb, about a foot away, uh, I was able to generate between
between uh, 0 0.10 and uh, 0.15 volts, and I actually got about a one uh, one milliamp uh, current from it, and uh, that's doing it right in the lab, not out uh, not outside. So anyway, we we'll take a look at this, take it apart, and uh, what we have here is in the empty CD case the sponge, and on the top you have, uh, on the scouring part of it, you apply the uh, liquid uh, piping correcting agent. You want a thin copper uh, lead across that and outside for measuring potentials as an electrode. And uh, you spray this very generously with the dye over the top. The bottom, as your antiseptic, your povidone uh, dye, soak that in there pretty good. And you'll have another copper lead. Don't let the two leads uh, establish contact, of course. And uh, you rub that bottom of the CD with a uh, graphite rod or uh, what, what they call lead pencil, which is really graphite. Rub that surface really good. And uh, then the bottom with the eye and the povidone will uh, be in contact like that. Here I use this graphite rod, but uh, you can use a lead pencil. And uh, just coat that in your business. And uh, put that back in there. Cover that up, hold it in place, and uh, as I said, you'll get uh, between 0 0.10 and 0 0.15 volts, and about 1 milliamp, but it's a functional photovoltaic. Thanks for watching. The results. 30 minutes assembly time. We obtained a voltage, as I said, of about 0 0.10 to as much as 0 0.15 uh, volts and uh, one and a half milliamps. Be sure to use gloves and lab apron or coat. Thanks for reviewing, and we'll have a much better quality uh, video that we'll upload to YouTube uh, in the next week. Thanks for watching. Bye now.